just happened in my Lusters. It's your boy, Wanderlust Woman, back again. And today we are in Boulder, Colorado, the famous hippie mountain college town in Colorado, just a stone's throw from Denver. And today we are going to be showing you the top five things to do in Boulder. So number one is walk around the University Hill area. Um, it's kind of off of College Avenue. I'm on 13th Street right now. And yeah, we're just gonna walk around, show you some shops, get a bite to eat. So come along with us. Let's go. Also got a local theater here. If you wanna see a concert or uh, see a comedy. Tacos and margaritas. See or oh no. Wow. Oh. Oh. Good job. Yeah, look, they got some rooftop seating right there. As you can see, they got a bookstore, an insomnia cookies, rush bowls. And we just stumbled on this really beautiful graffiti. It's got a little mixture of an Eastern influence, if you catch my drift. Kung Fu tea. As you can see, we are bobing it up today. This is a uh, winter melon green tea. As you walk around the general area, you get nice views of the flat irons, the guardians over the town. A little piece of my heart. Drum roll, please. This is Boss Lady Pizza. We got our vegan tot pizza, which looks killer. Just one of many places you can eat in University Hill. All right, fam, or should I say Wanderlust, my luster family. So that was University Hill. Um, yeah, as you can see, mostly just a good place to get a quick bite. The nice thing is since it's like right by, oh nice. Since it's right by the, stop and have to my video. Since it's right by the university area, um, by the frat houses and the campus, a lot of the dining here is very affordable. Good for a budget and lots of cool little quirky shops. So that's University Hill. Stay tuned with the number two thing to do. So as you can see, it is raining out, but the show doesn't stop. Just because it's a little bit rainy, don't mean that you can't go out and enjoy Boulder, Colorado. So we're walking on the side of this highway. The views are pretty incredible. So that is Boulder Falls, everybody. That is the closest waterfall in Boulder County. It's only 15 to 20 minutes away. And it, as you might not have seen, but we just experienced, it's only like a two minute walk from the uh, parking from the highway. So it's not so much as a hike, but more of like a tourist sight to see. So if you have the time, you want to get outside, but you don't want to commit a whole day to hiking, come check out Boulder Falls. As you can see, it's not that small of a waterfall. I'm yelling to get through to you. So it's really cool. Maybe not like a Niagara Falls, but definitely worth checking out. Maybe on not a rainy day, you can hang out here, eat some food, think about life and philosophy and shit like that, and just enjoy it. So that's site number two, Boulder Falls. We are on our, on our way to site number three. All right, Lester. So, featuring Crazy Lunatic in the background. This is place number three, Pearl Street Mall down in downtown Boulder. And this is a really cool place to check out. Really pretty, lots of public spaces, lots of places to eat out. But then yeah, lots of different kind of eateries. We got a sushi place here. There's Italian, Asian, Mediterranean, anything you can want really. Lots of breweries, desserts, ice cream. So yeah, it's definitely a must to do place. Whether you're into shopping or eating or just feeling what's going on in the city. You definitely have to come here at least once and check it out. Zomama, one in Denver, one in Boulder, a must stop by for just small little dim sum. The views are also priceless, as you can see. This is more of the upscale area, got some nice restaurants, businesses. You feel like dishing out the big bucks, right V? First bite. Is it good? Hear that guys, gelato boy, gotta check it out. There's two of them on one street actually. 
<laughs> Pretty. Look at all those lanterns. Look at. Pick your own uh, vegetables. How cool. These are pretty flowers. That's it. This is cool. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We this is a must check out, everybody. Kucha House of Tea. Got nice samples in there. Into the wind. Look at all those kites. Okay, last words. This is the end of Pearl Street Mall. This is one of my favorite stores. Pocket this. It's got all the retro stuff you want with the candies and games. Stuff like that. Keep, keep it on me. Keep it on me. Gotta get this eye to eye contact going. It's a must view, in my opinion. It's kind of a change, but it's really cool. Again, if you're a 90s kid, a 2000s kid, a 2020er, it's gonna appeal to y'all. Even if you're an old folk. Got amnesia, got Alzheimer's, it appeals to everybody. So check it out, it's a really cool place. It's raining, so I'm gonna see you guys in a bit. All right, everybody, so we are back. This is location number four, Chautauqua Park. This is right minutes away from downtown Boulder, right off of the highway. And this is kind of the hub for all of some of the best hiking trails that Boulder has to offer, such as Flatirons, Royal Arch, um, and... Green Mountain, yeah, Green Sunitas, Mountain. Mount Sunitas. Blah, blah, blah. Um, so yeah, so you can see the planets right in the background. These hiking trails give you quick access right into the thick of things, right in the nature with some beautiful views of the Rocky Mountains and of Boulder right over here. So unfortunately, it's pretty shoddy weather. It's really wet. I'm sure the trails are in very good condition right now. So I'm gonna roll some footage showing you some of the trails I had to offer because this is a good preview, but I really wanna show you what's gonna look like when you come here and you hit up these trails that you must do. So that's spot number four. Taco Park. Let's do it. Alright everybody, so we are at the end of the video and we are finally at place number five, which is the NCAR, National Center for Atmospheric Research. <sighs> now you might be thinking, come on Noah, quit giving us all this geeky stuff. But, you know, today got me thinking, the weather wasn't that great. Boulder is a place that's really well known for its outdoor activities. But we're just supposed to do it on a rainy day. Who wants to come on vacation and sit in their uh, hotel or Airbnb and watch Netflix? So if you want to get out and about and do some cool stuff on a rainy day, never fear, because NCAR is here. Inside, kind of, <laughs> inside, kind of, it's like a little science. Uh, interactive kind of museum. There's lots of hands-on exhibits and things to do. If you have little uh, young kids that are interested in being active or they're little nerds like me, then there's lots of cool stuff in there like tornado simulations, um, stuff to teach them about science and get them to like, interact and move about and you know, do fun things. And if it's not your cup of tea, this is also a great place because behind us, there's lots of hiking trail access to many cool uh, points in Boulder, uh, such as Mallory Cave, the Mesa Trail, and uh, yeah, lots of other trails that have really good scenery and are really fun to hike around. Oh, I didn't see you there, Lusters. Hey, I'm back, and we are outside of NCAR. I was just telling you about the awesome hiking trail access, and if you look over there, that is the back of the building, right outside of the research exhibits. Oh, I think I got that Rona. But uh, yeah, anyways, that's the NCAR building. And over here, we have the hiking trail access. We see these little trails branching off here. And we're not even deep in the mountains yet. We're not even in the thick of things. But look at these views. We have the uh, front range of the Rocky Mountains. We see the plains over there with all those trees. And nature is just at a finger. Let's say go. Your tip away, I don't know. Something. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, anyways, we got it. You got it. So, that's the video, everybody. I hope you guys really enjoyed it, and I hope that you are super excited to come and visit Boulder, Colorado, because it is an amazing place to be. Peace.